Welcome back to another uh, video of me at Walmart. This video here today should be pretty cool. We are on the search for something. Yet again, as always in Walmart, it is freaking crowded. So yeah, hopefully we do not get kicked out. But let's go try to find what we're looking for. All right, so what we are looking for is Easter related. We are definitely in the right place around here. Now I just gotta see if they have exactly what we're looking for. Yo, let's freaking go, man. Look at this thing right here. All right, let me rest this in the Easter confetti stuff real quick. Super shiny, it's kind of hard to see, but this is the Gone Fishing Fishing Adventures Easter basket. Let me try to find some better lighting here. Dude, this thing comes with a rod and reel and line. Looks like it has a bobber right there. Actually, it says, it says telescopic rod, reel with line, float and sinker, hooks not included. I mean, I guess for safety reasons, that makes sense. Pretty much this comes with a little landing net right there. There's a tackle box right there. I have no clue. I don't know if there's anything in there or not. Then we got a little assortment candy, got some NMs, got some gummy worms. I don't really know what else is in here but i gotta admit man if i was a kid i'd be pretty happy to get this this thing is, this is pretty cool man shout out to ryan willamon he was the one that gave me a heads up about this he's like yo if you find this in your local walmart go get it go send it so today that is what we're gonna do man we're gonna put this thing here to the test see if we can catch some big spring fish so i'm not sure the exact price of this but we'll find out you know when we check out but we just can't come to walmart without checking the fishing session let's go take a look real quick a lot of you guys were asking you know where do you get marabou jigs walmart is a pretty good place to get them these are all 116 ounce so you got three different colorways you actually get a bunch in a package too i think i'm gonna go ahead scoop up a few of these and something else where was it right here dude this freaking caught my eye man these things right here dude these would be freaking killer for trout any kind of panfish really yellow perch white perch happy anything man i think i might have to snag these guys up as well this walmart has a lot of stuff but not really you know, not really any good deals so yeah i think that's pretty much it here we are about to bounce let me go check out buy this easter basket then we can you know open it dissect it you know really see what we have to work with here let's go man i'm excited about this Yo, these allergies would be freaking killing me, man. All right, let's get into this real quick. All right, so not like super, super impressed here. So this is like all trash right there. We have a uh, Gone Fishing sticker. That's pretty cool. Empty tackle box. Not too much candy. We got neon gummy worms, M&Ms, and Smarties. Not like the worst choices. And then we have our landing net right here. This is pretty interesting. I, it's like a bamboo stick. I don't know, man. If you ask me, this is more like a butterfly net, but I guess we could try to. And then over here is the main thing. This is what we're going to be using today. This is the Fishing Adventures Telescopic fishing rod it has a reel has line on the reel and that's kind of like all it really says there's literally nothing on the back i think i don't know it'd be interesting to see how long this extends you know what line is on this and if this actually you know works and it's worth the money this cost me 16 dollars, i think we have this thing all rigged up here i don't know if you could tell or not but this is probably like the absolute i don't know how to explain it cheapest feeling reel and uh rod that i've ever got from one of these challenges it's just like cheap plastic like you know when you touch plastic and you're like yo that's cheap but yeah anyway today we're over here at a pond that i've only been to one time before but that time man that i was we got into a lot of fish we got into some freaking big fish so i'm just hoping man that today we're gonna be able to put this guy here to the test so it is like a little bit windy here today and two people were actually just fishing i talked to them they just left they didn't really catch too much i don't know man i just have a really good feeling about this easter basket fishing rod thing i think i'm gonna start right here now it's actually been a while since i've like fished for bass if you guys have been watching the recent videos you know man i've just been obsessed with trout fishing oh my gosh this sounds interesting if we can hook something I, I don't know if this is gonna be able to get it up but yeah as i was saying i haven't fished for bass like in what feels like a really long time so this is what i've got tied on right now a little red lipless crankbait i don't know if these fish are pre-spawn i don't know if they're spawning right now i, I just i don't know too much man so I'm just kind of ripping this lipless out of the weeds you know when i hit it there's a lot of there's a lot of gunk, there's a lot of weeds on the bottom of this water here. Listen to that. One interesting thing to note is that there's not as much like gunk on top of the water as there was last time I was here. If you guys remember last time I was here, I was kind of just throwing a jig into all that crap. It was a pretty sunny, warm day. It was windy, but it was like nice and sunny. We're gonna see what we could do here. If nothing at this pond, we're gonna have to switch it up. But I just, I came back here because there's freaking big fish here. Like it would make my whole spring if I could catch freaking Mondo on this setup right here. All right, we're starting to move into the territory where I was kind of catching them last time. The wind is also blowing this way. I think that played a huge factor last time I was here. The wind was kind of blowing this bank. Hmm. Holy crap. What the heck? Is that a freaking turtle or is that a bass? Oh! Oh my god, one just hit it. Oh my freaking god, that was a big one too. Oh, I do not know if you guys saw that or not. I literally, oh my dude, my freaking heart is racing right now. Hopefully he comes back for it. I just, dude, I'm gonna go ahead and blame the rod and reel, man. 
Oh, and this freaking tree, no. Okay. Come on, first date, you're losing it here. On the lipless, dude. That was a nice fish. That looked like a big freaking fatty right there. When I hooked him, like I felt him thump and I saw it. It just felt like the reel would not reel. Okay, got a fish. There's a fish on here. Do you hear my freaking reel though? Oh no! Why does my reel sound like that? Oh my gosh, I literally, dude, I freaking saw it out. I had a fat belly on it. Oh my gosh. That, <laughs> all right, that time I'm gonna blame the freaking, like what even is this, man? I understand. Oh, dude. It literally broke. What the heck? Dude, what? This thing was doing it too. Well, all right, so we have a few options here. Main problem though is that this is the only rod and reel that I have in my car. I just cleaned out my car. I took everything out. I was like, yo, this is all I'm going to be using today. And uh, this is, that's, that's where it got us. See, I think really my only option, I have to drive like 20, 25 minutes home. Grab another reel. Cause this thing just like, like I told you guys like this reel felt like cheap plastic. On the other hand though, riding back home and then back out here, you know, we got, we got some candy. Things could definitely be worse. All right, so now really quickly before we leave, look at this thing. This is what I was using, a little rip and wrap. Look at this hook right there, man. Look how it freaking bent that thing out. That was a nice fish. Like no joke, that was at least a three pounder. It could have been three, four, five. I looked at it in the water. I was like, yo, that's a freaking big fish. Dang it, dude, I was ready. I was about to whip the little net out. So this is what I get. Clean my car, I said. You're gonna thank yourself. You know, it's gonna be so clean, so nice. I'm not even joking, man. I usually at least have one rod, one reel in here, you know, as a backup. Whew. All right, yeah, man. We will be back here, hopefully in less than an hour. All right, and just like that, we are back in action. Let me show you guys what we got going on here. So I have a new one of these guys on. We're still using the same exact uh, cheap plastic rod that we got from the Easter basket. The only difference is that now I have a different reel on there. But we are still using the same line. I do have braid on the reel, but then I put a little leader with the same line that we were using. Uh, all right, so let's get out there. I really don't like leaving biting fish. Hopefully, they're still out there. This is still my goal, man. My goal is to catch one freaking fish on this rod. Whew, let's see if we can do it. All right, so everything here looks pretty much exactly the same as how I left it. That is good. The wind is still coming towards us. Whew, let's see. These fish are still here. I can't even express enough. I just cast it only one time and this is such a like more enjoyable fishing experience. Same thing here. Just ripping it off the bottom. When you rip it, it kind of has this motion. A lot of noise. And this color is just super good for this time of the year. There we go. Oh my God. Ah. I just, I don't know. I think my drag was a little loose there, but <laughs> let's just play, let's play him down the rod. I just think I'm too good at fishing. That's, that's the problem here. You know what I mean? Just quick release every time. What's the point of, you know, bringing the fish up when I can just quick release him? There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh my God, please don't come off. Freaking finally, come here, boy. Oh my gosh. It has been long enough. Oh my gosh, all right. Let's freaking go, man. I'm gonna get the pliers here. All right, y'all, so same thing as earlier. Let's get this out right here. Rip and wrap, first fish, first bass of the day. Right there, man. That is a good feeling. Definitely, I mean, by no means a giant like the ones we were catching the first time we were here, but that is a nice freaking fish, man. Whew, all right, let's let him go right here. This is definitely, dude, I hooked a giant earlier. I don't know if they already spawned in this water or not. There he goes. I, I don't really know what's going on in these Delaware waters right now. All I know is this bait is freaking working. So that right there is the first fish of this Easter basket fishing challenge thing. I mean, we use the same line as our leader and the same rod. I uh, I, I wish we could have used the same reel. But yeah, man, this little red rip and wrap is doing it. Dude, I, I'm happy, man. Even if we don't catch a fish the rest of the day, that, that one right there just made it all worth it. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, this is probably like, I think this is like my third time using this bait. I threw a lot of lipless cranks like this, you know, red eye shads, everything like that in the winter this year, but I'm still like, I, I don't know, I'm pretty new to the whole lipless crank game. So if any of you guys, you know, have any tips out there, like am I am I even doing this right? Oh my God, I just got hit. I mean, I guess as long as I'm getting bites, but if any of you guys have any tips, you know, to up my game here. As I said, pretty much just reeling this in, it has a really nice tight wobble. And then, you know, when it hits the bottom there, just kind of pop it up. 
The fish really seem to be liking it. And as always, any tips are greatly appreciated. Also, man, let me know in the comments below. A nice windy day like this. Clear-ish water. Springtime here in Delaware. What would you throw here on a day like this? Definitely let me know in the comments below. Oh! I just got freaking crushed over here. Oh, no, not the tree. No. Oh. Holy crap. Yo, the wind just took that right into the tree. I just sent this thing freaking flying, dude. Oh my God, thank God that did not fly right in my face. What the heck? Um, okay. We snagged. What is this? This looks like a little white perch. Oh my God. Yo, look at how tiny this little thing is. Look at the size. I mean, this perch is just a little bit bigger, but I think this is exactly, like that's gotta be what they're feeding on right there. If that's not a perch, let me know in the comments below. I don't know. To me, it kind of yeah, looks like a little white perch, right? I'm wondering if with the super heavy wind, it's pushing all the bait fish over here too. Oh my gosh. I am on the freaking school of bait. I just snagged another perch. I am not doing this on purpose. All right, so it just changed my bait up here. I did not bring too many in this box. I have a few more in there. This is what we got on right here. I'm hoping that this is, you know, kind of going to imitate those uh, white perch. So this is an extra. This is like a slash bait. This is definitely another one of those baits, you know, I don't really throw too often, but I have a good feeling about it, man. Let's give it a shot. All right, y'all, so it is at this point of the day where I'm just kind of sitting here thinking. So the whole reason I started, you know, my whole playlist of budget fishing challenge videos was just to show you guys you don't need to spend a lot of money to catch fish. You know, I don't like bashing products, bashing businesses, but all I gotta say, man, if you guys have watched, you know, my budget fishing challenge videos, you know that they're so much better. I mean, if you pay 10 more dollars than this, there are so many options for rod and reel combos that are, you know, actually pretty decent. So, you know, I'm not saying anything, but you can get a decent rod and reel for like 25 bucks. A lot of those actually come with, you know, tackle boxes filled with stuff. And then you can, you know, go to the dollar store you could buy an easter basket you could buy candy for a dollar there big things of candy for a dollar i'm pretty sure that they even sell butterfly nets at the dollar store so, you know i'm just yeah, that, that's that's all i'm saying man <sighs> all right well it seems as if yeah this looks pretty old somebody else has been fishing here. looks like they were wacky rigging this senko i don't know if that's actually a senko holy freaking crap oh my god why do frogs always do that to me man um that's a freaking fish over there Whew. All right, y'all. That is pretty much going to do it here for this video today. Now, again, not throwing shade, not hating at the company, but that, I mean, Easter basket could have had some better stuff in it. You see, like, I have a feeling that was kind of intended for smaller kids to fish for, you know, panfish like bluegill. But to be honest, like, I just don't know. Like, come look at this packaging right here. Right there, man. It has an adult on it going up here catching a freaking big old bass right there. So, yeah, I just, like, I, I, I don't know. Overall, though, man, it really, like, it was a fun day. This is my second time, as I said, ever exploring this pond. I mean, we got multiple bites, so that's definitely a thing. The first bait we chose today, we actually found, you know, a little bit of a pattern. We fished the windblown bank. Now, it's going to be interesting to see here in Delaware, you know, when the seasons change a little bit more. It's been pretty warm these last, you know, like, week, a couple weeks. But when these bass around here start to spawn, things are definitely going to get pretty interesting. But yeah, this is, like, this is what we've been waiting for all freaking winter, man. Spring is finally here. The good fish is is here i mean we only caught one fish trout season is here i know we've been putting out a lot of trout videos i've been having so much fun catching trout and then you know even beyond spring we got some cool plans so definitely if you guys did enjoy this video today please go down there hit that thumbs up button it really would mean a lot to me and let me know if you guys you know have any other suggestions for future videos because this video i mean one of you guys suggested me to do it if you enjoy my videos and if you're not already make sure to go down there click that subscribe button and if you never ever want to miss an upload from me go down there hit that notification bell that should give you a notification on youtube every single time i put a video video out. Ooh, I'm low-key kind of delirious. I've been fishing all day. I just, I need some food. So I'm going to go do that. Then I'm going to go edit this video. But can we just take a moment of silence here for this real man? I, it, it just, as always, thank you guys so much for all the support. It truly does mean the freaking world to me. All I really got to say, man, is let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.